Hello from Gardening at Twensa here in Ireland and it's a very exciting day because my new camcorder has arrived so we're going to unbox it together. Okay so here we go I'm going to open up this uh, wonderful new camcorder I've got and I'm going to do it as carefully as possible. Now it's a bit tricky because I damaged my finger, <laughs> absolutely destroyed my finger yesterday and it wasn't doing gardening it was doing housework so there's a moral to that story housework is bad for your health not gardening. Now, here we go, opening it up. Now, just to let you know that this is a camcorder and one I'm going to use for recording all of my videos on YouTube. Up until this point in time, the camera I've been using, the one that this video is being uh, recorded with, is the Nikon Coolpix L120. And I got that camera back in 2013, which is five years ago. So it's a good old time ago. Now it was bought as a still camera originally because I write for a, a gardening magazine and I need to submit photographs so I needed a decent camera for that and that's what it was originally bought for. And then I decided to do YouTube and started using the video function on that camera. So it isn't a camera that was ever intended for the videos that I've been using it for. So this is the new one I've bought and this one is Canon Legria HF R806. There we go. There we go, that's the name. I'm going to take it out and have a look at it. Now, I took some advice from a friend of mine, my nephew, who's a real camera buff. And just a word of warning, if you're ever taking advice from somebody about something technical, whether it's a computer or a camera, you need to choose carefully who you take the advice from. Because I remember when I was first, way back when, going to buy a computer, I got information from my brother who's an absolute like whiz on the computer. And of course he recommended something that was far above what I actually needed. So you can end up getting something with a lot of functionality and expense that you're never ever going to use. But this I think is going to fit the bill because this is the video camera kind of one up from the video camera on the machine that I'm currently using. And apparently a lot of research was done as to what video cameras functionality was actually required and it was considered not too much like we need we needed to on off we need to zoom and we needed to be relatively whoa look at that um it we needed to be fairly steady so if we go around that side <laughs> you can see that the action of holding this camera is you know so much better than what I've had at the moment because it stays steady and it doesn't wobble around and um, that's been a real issue with the other camera the vibrations that are caused through just generally moving now so this is quite sturdy and I can just zoom across let me see so what else was there in terms of zoom my old camera had a 21x uh, 21 times function and this has 57 times so it's got a much more powerful zoom and just the general ergodynamics of it makes it sit in my hand easier so surely there'll be a lot less vibrations other things in its favour is that it's a quick focus and that was the main thing that made me decide that the old camera, the, the uh, Nikon wasn't for me anymore because the length of time it was taking to catch up and focus, especially when I was doing the garden uh, tour videos, was just not satisfactory. 
so this one you know should be better at that and also this one has a battery pack my old camera had used to take just batteries that I'd have to buy and you can imagine that well that costs that adds up in terms of cost so it looks fairly simple there there's an on and an off and I'm not sure maybe that's the zoom I'm not sure I'll have to have a look at the um, instructions and what would be even amaz more amazing and I haven't checked this out yet is if it had a flip function like you know um, phones do nowadays so that you can actually turn it around and do a selfie video basically but um, yeah and look it's white oh. now oh I think this is going to be completely decharged. The first thing I need to do is charge it up. But it looks good, doesn't it? And it's not enormous. In fact, you know what? This is smaller than my current camera. So that'll be cool. Now, the other thing is it does take photos. But as to what the quality of them is, I don't know. We'll have to see. Because it could be just a, such a pain to have to carry around a camcorder. A stills... Um, camera and also a phone that's just too much kit to kind of have to bring around everywhere you go so if the um stills are reasonably good on this then i can go most places with this oh it sits very nicely in the hand really pleased with that and um and that and just a phone should really do it it's quite light as well really pleased with that now there's a whole humming and hawing should i get it now or should i wait until christmas because you know it is a substantial purchase but um, well, my husband said I should get it straight away, so I'm really pleased. Really nice. And just so as you know, I'm not being uh, sponsored in any way by the camera, by Canon, to make this video. I just decided to do it. Okay, and that's it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you for the moment. Can't really say anything else very sensible until I've had a chance to test this out. But hopefully you will observe that the qualities of my videos improve in the, well, in the near future. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.